Welcome back. Continuing on from where we last left, defeating Albion Rovers 3-0 and moving ourselves 30 points clear in the process, I thought I'd have a wee quick look at the player and team stats so far in the third division. And as you would expect, my players are dominating in most of the stats. I've almost got a whole first 11 in the average rating top uh, tier there. Although we don't have the top goal scorer as of yet, but I would imagine by the end of the season Marcos Suarez should should be there at the top. Ericsson, our only player to feature in the top 14 positions here, with just 7 assists. Seems a bit odd to me considering we've scored so many goals. And team goals here, and once again we almost have the complete first 11 sewn up with our players. Having a look now at the team stats, and of course we're the most informed team, but that hasn't really helped our average attendance as we are second bottom when it comes to average attendance in the league. Obviously we've yet to gain the fair weather and glory hunting fans as of yet. We are of course top in most goals scored at 66, scoring 26 more goals than any other team near us. And of course top when it comes to goals conceded, conceding so far only 11 goals compared to Peterhead there who have conceded 31. So we have the best attack and defence in the league, no real surprises. First match of this video is away to Stirling. And seeing as we did draw once to them before, I'm taking no chances and selecting the first 11. We go on to win the match 2-0, Marcos Suarez grabbing a brace. We are still 30 points clear but Albion Rovers able to give themselves a bit of daylight between them and Peterhead as Peterhead lost their game. Sadly Diawana picks up a knock during that game and he's out for 3 weeks which means he misses the Scottish Cup game against Hibs and yes it's actually Hibs we're playing as they won the replay game against Aberdeen but you would already know that I haven't watched till the end of the last video. Another signing of note and again it's Celtic signing Landon Donovan, an absolutely cracking player here in this game and he's one of those players who it could be argued never really lived up to the reputation. He did play many times for his country he had a couple of wee loan spells at Everton, I think 2010 and 2012 he was there. He also had a loan spell at Bayern Munich, although I barely remember that. But he's probably best known for his international career and his LA Galaxy career where he seems to have scored the majority of his goals there. But yeah, he's absolutely amazing here in CM0102. In the League Cup semis you have Celtic playing against Dundee United at Ibrox and Rangers facing off against Queen of the South in Celtic Park. And it surprises no one to learn that both Glasgow teams win and go through to an old firm final. But enough about the Glasgow teams as it's time for us to finally face off against one of the Edinburgh teams. Fourth round Scottish Cup game against Hibs. Which is obviously the biggest game of the season. We still have a lot of players on yellow cards and Gravelines actually missing the game due to suspension after picking up a second yellow in the last round. As for mentioned, Diawar is injured and he will be replaced with Perry. And with Graveline out as well, Leishman's filling in in right mid there. So the right back and right mid roles are the backups. Hmm, not exactly ideal. If we manage to actually get through to the next round, we're going to have to try and do it without picking up any bookings, or I'm going to have a lot of players missing for the next round. The last time Hibs and East Stirling faced off against each other was in the Scottish League Cup in 1986 apparently, Hibs winning 1-0. So with that not so fresh memory in the minds of the East Stirling fans, we are looking for payback. 10 minutes in, we haven't conceded, so you know, that's good. Hibs come forward there, but we managed to do a counter-attack? Nope. Didn't really come too much, and yeah. I don't like it when we start with an attack, which is weird because, as you just seen there, dispossesses. And a foul. Thankfully no booking. Uh, all of my back four are on yellow cards, so any one of them getting a booking today. So far, we're kind of holding our own. Hibs definitely coming across stronger. But yeah, Lorimer coming, Lorimer scoring, and it counts. I was waiting for like an offside or something funny to happen there. Lorimer, 18th minute, 1-0 up. Absolutely fantastic start for us. Oh, and Suarez just hits the bar. Yeah, uh, now I just want the game to quickly fast forward, nothing happened. Uh, Suarez, Alu, and he misses by a mile apparently, aiming for the top right hand corner. Yeah, it's just always Sterling. Alu again, Diabate, cross, and no, it comes to nothing. 
Diabate, Lorimer, seem to be a good combination between those two so far this game. Suarez lays it off, appeal for a penalty and it's not given. Of course it's not. Just noticed the referee's uh, Hugh Dallas <laughs> is uh, quite infamous uh, in, amongst Celtic fans as a Celtic supporter smashed him in the head with a, a coin thrown at an old firm game in 1999 I think. So yeah, the, the game had to actually be stopped so they could get bandaged. <laughs> Absolutely mental. A Lou come out and hits the side net and yeah, I would say I am biased. I would say we have had the best of that half. Dempsey getting injured right on half time. We can see the attendance there actually is um, 7,500. Not a great attendance at all so we'll not be making a lot of money out of this. Ah, oh, great. Ready, our captain is injured, so Traversa on and he's got decent enough stats for playing uh, central so he'll do, but yeah that's a huge miss for us, our captain going off, who's that, three minutes into the second half, uh, we need to just really hold on here, although if we get a second it would be a lot more comfortable. Perry going forward, Leishman, Leishman into Alou, Alou heads and gets it oh, horribly wrong I think it came up there. It's quite funny, like, pretty much all the attacking is done by me but if you look at the possession bar, Hib, uh, Hibs have definitely had the most possession. It feels anyway, they just haven't done anything with it. Alou seems to be really unlucky in front of goal so far. All major chances fall to him and he's not taking them. 70 minutes in, Suarez and Lorimer, Ericsson and Ericsson puts it wide, nobody's got their shooting boots on it seems bar Lorimer, that's in the, the last 10 minutes, can we hold on, come on just fly by, nothing happened, no Hibs coming forward, oh Perry, yeah, and I forgot to make my... Perry just picked up a book and see misses the next round. So I forgot to actually do my body subs. I was too busy just watching the time tick down. So Wood on and... Do, 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 do. Dennis on for Ericsson. Yeah, Ericsson tiring slightly. Dennis younger. Uh, so a bit more chasing in the midfield, hopefully. Uh Brevnar unmarked. Oh you're kidding me on. It won't stand. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> the score in the eighty eighth minute only for it to be ruled offside. Oh, and we almost scored in the ninety second. We won one nil. Look at that, we actually really held our own. Uh what a result. I'm chuffed to pieces and only picking up the one booking as well. Fantastic. Through to the next round, their goalkeeper actually got man of the match. Shows you actually how many shots were raining down their goal. Celtic and Rangers still in the Scottish Cup, good to see as I want either one of them. And just to make sure, we'll check the bank balance, but I think that game barely had an impact on it at all, not a big crowd. We were sitting just above 1.7 I think before the game, so yeah, made at most maybe 30,000, something like that. It's time for the Scottish Cup 5th round draw and our best chance to play either Celtic or Rangers this season. We're just going to use the automatic draw, so it's Kilmarnock against Morton, St Johnston against Ayr, Rangers versus Partick Thistle, which means Celtic is facing off against East Stirling. Well, this calls for a celebration. I will. We are drawn away to Celtic, which is a big money payday. More bank and our balance. I really don't expect to actually, you know, do anything against them. Hopefully maybe a fluky wee draw, but yeah. Celtic signings so far this season of like John Terry and Landon Donovan have been pretty good. And they already start with an amazing side for the SPL, so yeah, I can only see defeat. But, you know, we are the mighty East Stirling, so... <laughs> Don't rule us out. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a wee like. Feel free to comment in the comment below. And if you want to see more from me on Championship Manager, let me know. And also, I'll be subscribed would be lovely. Thanks very much. Bye.